Hello world good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to codingscientist.com you are watching raspberry pi hacking stuffs so we have completed almost about 30 different lessons hacking into raspberry pis different modules different applications different uh, styles and different packages and stuff now you know i also showed you how to access the gpio uh, pins right we just did some basic uh, stuff of course we will be getting into some of the advanced level of gpio access in the future lessons but for now i am planning to shift the focus slightly so that you guys get comfortable on the web browser stuff and uh, kind of thing so keep one thing in mind guys you know building a bot is one part of the game at the same time controlling the robot remotely without any physical connectivity right just a connection just a internet connection and through the browser how you are going to operate so that's a pretty tricky part right so you need lot of skills not just on python but also on java and javascript and html and stuff like that so from this lesson onwards i will show you how to install multiple java packages and python packages to your raspberry pi is just raspberry pi so these tricks are specific to raspberry pi single board computer or you can call it as a edge computer right so we will be using the software tools to build a web browser controlled robot which can perform multiple artificial intelligent tasks like you know image processing object detection on the browser human following and controlling those activities on the browser itself so some of these examples i showed you how to do it in jetson nano nvidia's jetson nano in one of my parallel uh, series but performing similar aspects on raspberry pi gets little bit trickier of course little easy but you need to understand the logics and the command line tools and stuff like that so in this lesson let's start with node js so what is a node js node js is basically a open source platform that allows you to run javascript outside the web browser right it's pretty much popular amongst uh, you know ton loads of java developers for command line tools and server side scripting to any anything to build uh, or drive dynamic uh, web pages so installing node js runtime on your raspberry pi is pretty much straightforward but it's not that easy and it just you know takes couple of lines of commands on the linux terminal so let's quickly move on and uh, let's connect to the vnc so let me show you my raspberry pi it's actually booted up it's connected with the camera we don't need a camera but uh, you know i just don't want to remove the ribbon cable i just left left it as it is so as you can see my raspberry pi uh, is connected to my wifi and just the power adapter and there is no hdmi or any of the usb devices connected so i'm going to take remote access through vnc and let's take it forward guys make sure that you follow the lesson which i showed you how to install vnc because most of the lessons i'm going to take remote access through the vnc and into my raspberry pi and you know show you all these aspects because connecting a monitor and then uh, you know a keyboard and mouse it becomes cumbersome with multiple wires and streaming the videos and kind of thing so it's it's always to have a remote access and most important thing vnc is critical because you will be controlling the robots and uh, you know any of the remote applications or iot and stuff through vnc right you you may not have monitor physical monitor and keyboard connected anywhere so it's better get used to vnc guys anyways enough of this lecture now let's get into doing things so i am connected to my vnc so before even installing any kind of packages right i i did explain to you earlier not only in jetson nano lesson but also in raspberry pi lessons that you need to update your existing packages and keep upgrading your uh, linux operating systems so how do we do that you need to open up the terminal command here on the top left side click open the terminal and what you need to do you need to type sudo s u d o sudo apt hyphen get space 
update sudo space apt hyphen get update all right and then hit enter button on your keyboard you need to hit enter right once you enter this is the stuff which is going to run for a couple of minutes it depends upon you know when, when is the last time you updated your raspberry pi your linux operating system depends upon that now i am going to there you go the update has been done on my buster uh, release <coughs> now let me go ahead and update it upgrade it sorry sudo apt hyphen get space upgrade sudo space apt hyphen get space upgrade there you go it's going to take just a couple of minutes for me because i just upgraded a couple of minutes back so in your case it might take longer time it might take somewhere between you know 15 20 minutes 30 minutes or even 40 minutes because it all depends upon number one your speed of internet you know what kind of internet bandwidth you have number two you know when is the last time you upgraded you know if you, if you haven't upgraded your system for about you know a couple of months then it's going to take a long time or maybe even few weeks might take long time it's always better whenever you are installing any new packages any new software or libraries on your linux operating system into your raspberry pi or jetson nano make sure that you run an update and an upgrade before installing a package please keep a note of it all right now let me clear this terminal clear so clear command basically clears your entire terminal now in order to before we begin installing node.js to our raspberry pi let us uh, you know we, we have already updated and upgraded the existing packages now what we need to do you will need to decide if you want to stick with lts that is the long term support release or the latest version which you already have so an lts release is typically the most stable and is supported for at least 30 months from its initial release However, the latest release will have all the new improvements packages, but could potentially, you know, be more unstable or whatever. So I'm going to leave it as it is with my existing uh, Raspberry Pi OS uh, package, which I showed you in the lesson number one or two, how to install the OS package. So I'm just going to leave it as it is with the same uh, uh, LTS package. Now, for example, to add a repository of any kind of new version of node.js remember we are going to install node.js on your raspberry pi so we need to install a couple of helper program right and this this is going to come from the debian uh, source so the helper program is called curl c u r l and it's a pretty lengthy command so i am going to copy from my notes and i'm going to read it out on the terminal so that you guys can understand so the command is here so it's called curl space hyphen f s s l https the entire stuff right so i'm going to leave this command below the video description so you can pick it up or you can go to my linkedin account and uh, or sorry not linkedin to my github account and pick it up from there as well so this is what is running so it's going to take just fraction of seconds this is a kind of helper package right so this this helper package is going to combine and compile the node.js package in order to be compatible with arm architecture arm architecture there you go it's done so i am going to clear this now and then the next one is going to be well with the node.js repositories we have to add to our raspberry pi so the next one is we need to directly install node.js so sudo apt install node.js that's the simple command so it's going to be sudo space apt space install space node node js so it's going to be sudo apt sudo space apt space install space node js i think i got it right i hope so let me just check i'm going to paste the command yeah it's the same node js so let's enter hit enter button 
and it's reading the packages so my node.js is already installed i have already installed it on my system so that's why it's, it's it says that you know i am on the latest uh, version and it, it just ran in ziffy for you it might take about probably about 30 seconds to a minute right it again it depends upon the speed of internet you have so let me clear this okay now what we need to do after we install it's very important that you know we need to verify that we have now installed the node.js component so we need to run a specific command this command will basically retrieve the version number from the runtime java runtime environment right so that's how it works so the command is node space minus v so the command is i'm going to paste it here node space minus v so let's see what happens there you go it's showing the version Woo! congrats guys so we are able to install node.js to run javascript applications on raspberry pi which is on version 17.8.0 you can see it on the screen so fantastic so keep it up guys so you are able to install the stuff very successfully and then uh, what we need to do now so just by installing node.js is not going to help us right so we need to install a couple of more packages so i am going to show you some more packages in the upcoming lessons so combine together all these packages you know these these things will run in your run at the background guys so you don't have to really worry how this node.js is going to work and how to write the scripts and stuff how to write the javascript and kind of thing it's not required at this point of time later on when we get into the browser control robot or uh, running artificial intelligence applications on the browser that's where these applications will work these tools like node.js and a couple of scripting tools is going to work at the background our primary focus is going to be python but at the back end we will have node.js and javascripts and stuff like that so that's it for this particular lesson do go ahead and install node.js I will come back to you in the next lesson. We will be installing a couple of more packages. Goodbye.